So now God, praise the Lord, is going to work. And God has been with them all this time. The pillar of fire by day, I mean, a pillar of fire by night, a pillar of cloud by day. He provided rock water out of the rock. We found out that that rock was Christ. Amen. We, we see him fighting their enemies. We see, amen, dissension in the ranks. But yet God shows order and discipline in the midst of the people. And now, <coughs> excuse me, now the children of Israel are now moving into another area. Amen. And now their fame has gone out before them. Amen. amen. The fame of how God destroyed the walls of Jericho has gone through the land. Amen. The fame of how God destroyed the, the, the Amorites before them has gone out before the land. Amen. And now, praise the Lord, there is somebody who sees, amen, their victory and sees their prosperity. Amen. Church of a living God, somebody is seeing you hold on to God in the midst of this pandemic. Amen. Somebody's looking to you and saying, look, I'm still going to press my way to come out to the household of faith. Somebody is watching, praise God, seeing you continue, amen, to be faithful over your giving. Amen. God, somebody's watching you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And, 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 and they're trying to decide what they're going to do with their own life. Amen. And on this passage of scripture, as the children of Israel, amen, are moving. And we really didn't read verse 1 of this chapter, but amen, they see the people of God moving. Amen. They're on the move. Praise God. And if they saw the people of God, remember, the people of God were led by God in the wilderness. They had to see the pillar, amen, that was leading the people through the midst of the woods. Amen. amen. And now, praise God, some people are not going to be happy about your prosperity. On, amen. Some people are not going to be happy, amen, praise God, that you got and are keeping the victory. Amen. Somebody's not going to, praise God, be happy about how, amen, you're continuing to hang in there and you're not all stressed and oppressed and depressed on, and suppressed about the situations that are going on in the world. Amen. You realize, praise God, that your trust is not in horses and in chariots and in men, but your hope is in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Have anybody in the house of God today that's still hoping in the name of the Lord? Wave at me and just say, I'm hoping in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. And here the people of God are moving, praise the Lord. And God, amen, is on their side. And now, praise the Lord, when, amen, those who see them coming into the area are not happy, praise God. They're going to work up a plan to try to stop your prosperity. Amen. They're going to work up a situation to try to get you from being where God wants you to be. Wherever God took the children of Israel, that's where God wanted them to be. Amen. Wherever the Spirit of God leads you, that's where the Spirit of God wants you to be. Amen. And as you begin to move and you begin to prosper and you begin to do what God has called you to do. Amen. You always got to know that you got an adversary. His name is the devil. Amen. He does not want to see you make, amen, where God has you to get to. Amen. Praise God. We see here, we know the story about Balaam and the donkey. We know, praise God, about the story about how this occurred. Amen. At this point here, amen, we see, praise God, God begins to talk to the prophet for hire. God begins to talk to the man of God that was in touch with the, the spirit world. Church of the living God, I want to let you know today that everything that you're going through is not natural. Everything that you're dealing with is not just because the person sitting next to you, amen, or in the next block on your Zoom call is not what's working on it, trying to work against you. You have a demonic, you have a sanctified host, and, and you got a demonic host. Uh, and in the midst of the spirit world, praise God, they are having discussions about you and your success. Somebody didn't hear me today. Amen. Praise God. And I want to let you know, praise God. Amen. No different than when the devil went and talked to God about Job. Amen. Somebody has come and asked, have you considered my servant? Praise simple. Amen. Praise God. Have you considered the ones that's been going there? Amen. And the testimony he comes back from God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The testimony comes back from the enemy. Lord, I can't get to them because you put a hedge around them. Praise God. Aren't you glad today that you got a hedge around you? Praise God. And the enemy can't get you. Praise God. But sometimes God will move the hedge. Amen. To let the enemy come in. Praise God.
praise God, to be able to cause a little ruckus in your life. Huh? Hallelujah. So that you may know, praise God, that God is still in charge. Now, though you're going through some stuff, though you're stressing on every side, you still got to praise God. Down on the inside. You're like Brother Joe. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed in the Lord giveth it. And blessed in the Lord taketh away. The name of the Lord is still blessed today. If I believe that today. Amen. And when he gives it to me. And when he takes it away. I'm still going to lift my eyes into the hills. I'm going to still lift my hands. And give God a praise. I need somebody to help God today. Because lift your hands and say. I'm still going to give God praise. I'm still going to give God the praise in the midst of what's going on. Amen. So here we know the story that, that when the Balaam was going and, amen, and he saw that angel, the donkey saw the angel, amen. Amen. The angel was getting ready, was an adversary against Balaam because he didn't want Balaam to go that way. This is a sidebar to this story. We're going to get there in a minute, praise God. But what had happened is, praise the Lord, that God, amen, amen, and the donkey saw the angel and then the donkey opened his mouth, amen, again, amen, to talk about what God was getting ready to do. Amen. Sometimes we like to think of a donkey as somebody, amen, that don't have much sense uh, or something that doesn't have much understanding, praise God. But don't you know, praise God, God knows how to get your attention. Uh, God knows how to take the person that you didn't think knew nothing about God. Uh, they might not be living nothing for God. They might not even be understanding. They might not even be a church goer or understand. But, but when you're going through something and you have a conversation with God, something may come out of their mouth uh, and let you know you might be going the wrong way or you might be going the right way. It's very important for us, amen, to understand, amen, that when we're in tune with God, God can use whoever he wants to speak to us. Amen. We can't tune nobody out. We have to be able to decide and decipher the word of God or what God is saying. Can we say amen? amen. So here God, amen, opens, amen, the eyes of the prophet and see, praise God, the angel standing there. And after this, we see that there is a host of heavenly angels open above, praise God, ready to fight on their behalf. And what I want to really put in your spirit today, amen, praise God, hallelujah, that what is going on is not what and many things that may be seemingly seeming they are. Amen. What you think, praise God, is happening on the natural level. There is a spiritual component working behind the scenes, amen, carrying out all the things that are going on in this earth, praise God. God is trying to help us understand, praise God, that we got to be able to look past, amen, hallelujah, the headlines, and look past the media outlet and see that God is still in charge and he's still working it out in my favor. Who of these God still working things out in your favor? Uh, who of these God is still moving on your behalf? Uh, who still believes, praise God, when the enemy try to take you out, hide you like a flood? Uh, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against the enemy. Who still knows, praise God, how that no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper? Who still, amen, going to hold on and hold out until Shiloh comes? Uh, who's in the house of God today? Hallelujah. No, the race is still not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, uh, but he that endures to the end, uh, the same shall be saved. Uh, I'm speaking today to the Spirit of God that's down on the inside of you and, and the motivation of God that's hallelujah. He's giving you out of this word uh, to let you know, praise God, uh, it's good, this is a good time to give God the glory and to give God the praise. Uh, you say, Pastor, huh, we got all kinds of stuff going on in this life. Huh? It's a good time to lift our hands uh, and tell God, thank God. We don't know who's going to take on the next four years, but Lord, it's a good time to lift our hands and tell God, thank God. I don't know who's going to win the center race. Huh? I don't know who's going to be elected judge, huh? but one thing I know, huh? the main judge huh? is still on the throne huh? and he still rules in the kingdom of men. Huh? And God has promised, hallelujah, huh? he said, praise the Lord, huh? I'm going to work it out for your favor. Huh? He said, and this we know huh? that all things huh? work together for the good huh? of them that love God huh? and call according to his purpose. Huh? Have anybody here been called by God today? Huh? I want to let you know that God's working behind the scenes huh? for your favor. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? That's why you need to go on and lay down at night huh? and get you some rest. Huh? Stop fretting thyself. Huh? Because of evildoers. Huh? You need to be thou envious. Huh? 
doing what we call him to do. Hallelujah. God is, praise God, a very present help in the time of trouble. God is trying to get the church together. God is getting the church Amen. together. I said, God is getting the church together. Yeah. I will say again, God is getting the church together. Yeah. The church, praise God, is not the church building. Right. The church, our Lord and our dear brothers and sisters, amen, praise God, is you, the body of baptized believers. Yeah. And he's trying to get the church together because Jesus is getting ready to crack the sky. He's coming back for a single church. He's coming back for a glorious church. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle or blemish or any such thing. We used to sing a song. Are you in the church triumphant? Are you in the Savior's bride? Have you been baptized? Hallelujah into the body. God's question of the church today. Hallelujah that I'm still doing what I said I'm going to do. I'll still make you the head and not the tail. I'll still make you the lender and not the bar. But you can't go by what you see. Hallelujah. You can't dictate it by what is being put out there. You got to look
today. He wants us to know that I'm working behind the scenes. I'm trying to work it out in your favor. Yeah. I'm trying to move some situations. Pray God that you just came for what you want. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Huh? And what you want to grab hold to huh, is keeping you from where God wants you to be. Yeah. What you trying to get a hold of. Yeah. What you trying to get. It may cost you your life. And God does not want it to cost you your life because he said, I'm working behind the scenes just like I did when I saw the children of Egypt. Someone tried to sell a plant. I had to let them know it's not going to prosper. Amen. It's not going to work out in your favor. He tells them, pray to God, how do you curse what is already blessed? Amen. Even if you can't curse you because you're blessed. Amen. That's somebody you shout right now. Amen. You already blessed. Amen. Church, let me tell you what. You sit on your pew, you bless. Amen. When you rise up in the morning, you bless. Amen. When God gave you the next breath, you bless. Amen. When you got in the car and turned the key and actually started up, you bless. Amen. Hallelujah. When you put your shirt on and you didn't put it on inside out, and you put your pants on your head and put your shoes on your ears, guess what? You bless. Because you're in your right mind. Amen. You bless. Yes. Praise God. You got a roof over your head. Yes. You bless. Hallelujah, you got ketchup and mustard in the refrigerator with a hamburger to put it on. You bless. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. You go hit the light switch and the light always comes on. And you ain't paying bill. You bless. God wants us to understand. And I'm working behind the scenes to in your favor and try to get you to see how blessed you are so that you can do your job. What is my job? Who say what is my job? My job is to give praise and thanks in all things. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So go ahead and do your job about 10 seconds. Come on, somebody give God a praise right now. Somebody tell God thank you right now. Come on, do your job in God. Do your job in the, in, the, in, the, in the spirit world. What is the church supposed to do? The church is supposed to make a ruckus in the spirit world. The church is designed to tell God thank you when the enemy tries to shut it down. Don't you play me. Get me up. Trust in him. I'm going to do it hard this time. As a good soldier, I'm going to press on the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I do I want to know what God I got. Because I am a, a royal priesthood. So I am a royal priesthood. I am a holy nation. I am a holy nation. I am a peculiar people. And I've been a, I'm a chosen generation. And I'll show forth the praises of Start about all the stuff you did, and God still 
saved you. Hallelujah. You're going to say, Lord, I just want to pray. Especially when you know people did the same thing you did. Amen. And they didn't make it. That's the first thing that's going to happen. The next thing that's going to happen for the next million years, you see mama made it. Come on. And maybe daddy made it. And maybe your children made it. You know, the unruly children pray to God. You keep praying for it. Finally, they got their lives in order. Yeah. You can pray 10 years for that. They're going to say, what you praying for, D? Because yeah. that one right there. Because <laughs> they took me through. But yet, God did what? He was working yeah. behind the scenes. the scenes. Church, he's working behind the scenes right now. Yeah. It's not about what it looks like. It's about what you know. And I know that God is a very present help. And he's helping us out right now. You wouldn't be where you are right now during these last few months unless God had got you. Praise the Lord. He's working behind the scenes. And everything that you think is a, is a closed door might have been a bad guy behind that closed door. Amen. The Lord opened the door, 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 opened the door. And God said, I ain't opening that door. You need to go on down and go to another door. Amen. I'm going to keep that door closed. Amen. Because if you would have walked through that door, it would have led to your destruction. You're getting all mad at me because you didn't get the promotion. Let me tell you what. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm glad I didn't get promoted on my job. I'm sitting here watching the things that I wanted so bad. I'm so glad I ain't got that job. Paul said, no matter where you find yourself. What does what the word say? Come on, come on, Bible readers. What does it say? Be therein. Be happy about where God got. Because God got you right where he wants you right now. I'm trying to help somebody today. Because you keep you keep pushing and fighting and saying, I need to do this and I need to do that. And God got you right where you need to be. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. It's not about numbers. It's not about titles. It's not even about position. But what is your position in the Lord? Amen. What would what would God tell the devil? about you. Because that conversation is going on. Is he going to tell him that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus? Or is he going to tell him he's going to submit to a slippage here and there? Is he going to tell him, pray to God, that you can count on this one to not serve you? Or if I pull the head back, he's going to deal with that with a little bit of your stuff. What is God, what can God tell the devil about you? These conversations are going on. And when we get to heaven, the Bible says, all things shall be revealed. Show me the transcript. I want to know what God said about, to the devil about me. But the most important thing I want us to understand today is that though I did not dot every eye, and though I did not cross every T, I still have an advocate with the Father. His name is Jesus Christ, the righteous. And when I find myself in a place outside the will of God, the blood of Jesus can still cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Can we say amen? God is working behind us. He's working in the background. Keeping your life together. Church, don't you know things can be so much worse than they are? with that settle. See, Pastor, that's impossible. Oh, yes. It can be worse. But God has not allowed it to be worse. Because he said he never put more on you than you're able to bear. If you're in it, you can handle it. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? If I was to testify, I would testify that the Lord has seen me through the death of two parents. But yet, he's kept me. If I was to testify, I was I saw him laid. I got the first job I got out of college. I got laid off. 
if I was to test and God saw me. If I was to testify. But during that same job, I had an infection in my body that they couldn't find for almost three months. And I would get up and go to work on Monday and be in bed till Friday. But a little old doctor came and found it. I had an ear infection. That ear infection didn't really take me out. But I can say that God had kept me. I've seen him take my home. Getting ready to sell the home. The bank took the home. Sold the home to the person I was going to sell it to. And foreclosed on us and told us to get out. I've been there. But yet God has kept us. I see God after being married for 20 years and stop trying. <laughs> Give us a son. Amen. Praise him. Amen. See, you don't know what people go through. That's right. See, some of y'all didn't know that, did y'all? No. I've seen God do these things. And if God has done it in the past, he'll do it in the future. Amen. That's just a little bit of my testimony. But I want to, I, I feel today the need to be a little transparent. Yes. Because we got to get serious with our position in God. We have to know that God is working on the background. Every single day, I got to be ready for his return. Amen. Amen. Let us stand to our feet. God is working in the background. And I want you to know that he's working on your behalf. Father, we thank you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord, Father, for constantly holding us up in the background. Lord, you are striving to bring us to a closer relationship with you. Lord, if there's anything in my life that's not like you, help me to identify it. Give me the courage to address it with your power. And Lord, when I deal with it, help me to deal with the chips when they fall where they may. Give me the strength to fight another day. Hallelujah. God, I know is working out in my favor. Lord, bless the people of God. Bless the saints of God. Bless the house of God. Bless their immediate family members. Save the ones that they come in contact with every day. Lord, turn their hearts of men back to you. Before it's everlasting, too late. Give us wisdom in the words of say to somebody yes. to encourage them. Yes. And know, Lord, you are working in the background. Yes. Working yes. behind the scenes. Yes. Let us not see things for faith value, yes. but see how you're bringing everything together yes. to come back for a glorious church. Yes. In the midst of destruction, you shall rise and the enemies are going to be scattered. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. amen. Come on, clap your hands and give God one more praise. Yeah, somebody say, do your job. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, come on, put your hands together. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, somebody say, do your job. Your job is the what? Give God some glory. Those who are with us online, may God for you. May God bless you. May God keep you today. We need you. We continually need your, your financial support. We continue to need for you to go to give a five. We, we have just opened up. Can I say it? We just opened up Cash App. Can we say amen? Amen. So if you have Cash App, our Cash App handle is Praise Temple VA. Amen. Praise Temple VA. 
please make sure in the note that you tell us what it's for. Amen? So we just, we just, we, we, we need the finances. Amen. We're doing a lot of great things here in the church. We're painting outside the church. We got AC systems in. Doesn't it feel great in here? Amen. 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 Nice, and, nice and perfect temperature. Yeah. Not too moist, not too dry. That takes money. Amen. 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 And we're working to do that and yeah. build a place so that it'll be a suitable house when we are able to what? Come back, back together. together. Amen. 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 Praise God and be able to be so. So we need, we need you. And all we ask that you do is do what the Bible says. Amen. Bring all your tithes and, and your offerings into where? To the, store. the storehouse. I'm not asking you to write a thousand dollar check. I can't get one amen. Amen. I'm just asking you to do what the Bible says. Amen. I'm asking you to find it in your heart to serve that part of God with us. Amen. Amen. Because if you don't give, the Bible says that you're going to be cursed. Amen. With a curse. Amen. And I don't want that to happen to you. When it does not have to happen. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. We love you. We'll see you on next time. Amen.